Questionable reports are being commissioned and promoted by the paper towel and cotton roll towel manufacturers, trying to make Dyson air blades seem unhygienic. One of the reports looked at the effectiveness of the different drying methods at removing bacteria from the hands, but the methodology is flawed. What they did was to contaminate the hands with the bacterial suspension, measure the amount of bacteria left on the skin, then straight to the drying method, drying with the hand dryer or the paper towel, and then measuring the bacteria left on the skin again. But people wash their hands before drying them, and yet that was omitted from this bit of the report. Doesn't that seem strange? In another part of the same report that was unpublished, they did actually wash the hands and then dry them, and all the methods performed equally. It's important to recognise that you wash your hands to remove the bacteria from the skin, and then the drying step is actually about preventing the spread of bacteria. It's been proven in a recent peer-reviewed study published in the Journal of Applied Microbiology that when using the Dyson Airblade, you actually reduce the amount of bacteria transferred from the skin by up to 40%. More scaremongering that's out there suggests that using Dyson hand dryers spreads dangerously high levels of bacteria into the air. It's not true. Using the air blade puts fewer bacteria into the air than taking your coat off. The most recent report used an unrealistically high amount of bacteria to represent poorly washed hands. Tens of millions. You just don't find that on human skin. And they then applied it to gloved hands, not real skin, and then immediately dried them. Only 0.0001% of the original bacteria were found in the air during the experiment. Now that level of bacteria has been shown in previous experiments to make an insignificant contribution to the bacteria that are already in the air around you. Interestingly, another report commissioned by a paper towel manufacturer and published in a journal just last year and compared Dyson Airblade to a paper towel also looked at the amount of bacteria in the air but was never promoted. Why? Because the report concluded that there was no evidence that there was any difference between the two methods in terms of the amount of bacteria they put up into the air. Another report claims there's an abnormal amount of bacteria on the hand dryer itself, but that's misleading. There's just as many bacteria on a tap, door handle, or paper towel dispenser. The fact is, bacteria are everywhere. Really, it's the use of paper towels that should be scrutinized in practice. A recent US study by the College of Medicine at the University of Florida showed that one in five dispensers can be found empty in washrooms. If there's no paper, there's no way to dry your hands. That really is unhygienic damp hands spread up to a thousand times more bacteria than dry ones. And we're all familiar with the mess they can make. Soiled paper towels laden with bacteria are often found discarded around the washroom. For 10 years at Dyson, experts drawn from microbiology, chemistry and food hygiene sectors have worked with industry partners to test Airblade technology to ensure that it's suitable for use in environments where hygiene is critical. Dyson hand dryers are the only hand dryers certified hygienic by the NSF using protocol P335. They are used in hospitals around the world and are approved for use in the food industry by HACCP. <laughs>